I'm talking Clemson, Georgia, a 37-0 trend, and my two favorite underdogs for week one of the college football season, all geared up as you can see. Welcome to the Saturday edition of the Power Five. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts you've got on today's card. I am going to start in a place many of you may not be interested in, that being Italy, but this is a soccer bet you need to make on Saturday as we turn to Serie A, Cagliari, Lecce, both teams to score yes. This prop is still close to even money, minus 105 at DraftKings last I checked. Lecce is the only side in the league that has lost its first two matches. In fact, they haven't even scored a goal. But that's going to change Saturday afternoon for two reasons. One, Lecce haven't opened 0-3 in the league since 1997. Two, Cagliari, they were pretty bad defensively last year. Conceded 68 goals in 38 matches. That was fourth most in all of Serie A. Also, considering Lecce has already conceded six goals themselves in the first two matches, uh, Cagliari, pretty solid bet to score at least one here. So... Both teams to score, yes, up to minus 125 is how I play that one. For the record, I was number one in net units last season at Wager Talk, not only in Serie A, but La Liga and the English Premier League as well. Cashed my only soccer bet last week, Real Madrid win to nil, on an 8-0-1 EPL run going back to last season. So don't go discounting soccer. It's been a solid moneymaker on this end. All right, now let's hit our marquee game for Saturday's Power 5. What you've been waiting for Number 14, Clemson versus number one, Georgia. Noon Eastern on ABC. This game takes place in Atlanta. Reportedly, there's going to be some players suspended on the Georgia side, including running back ETN. That's why this line has come down. Thinking about game script, how this one might play out, I don't think Clemson covers full game without playing a strong first half. So the first half is the market I'm going to look at here. Let's take the points with the Tigers. In the first half, there's still some six and a halfs out there, and I'd grab them before they start to disappear. Our third play, let's look at a game I don't think is going to be close. My alma mater, Ohio U, traveling to the Carrier Dome to take on Syracuse. This line has been on the move all week. Cuse taking money left and right. I don't think the odds makers can make the number big enough. It's a total rebuild this season in Athens for Tim Alvin. OU returns virtually no one from last year. Qu quarterback Curtis Rourke, easy for me to say, he bolted for Indiana. Meanwhile, there's some serious expectations for Syracuse this year under Fran Brown, their new head coach. And here is why you shouldn't be afraid to lay the points with the Orange, even though this number's already been bet up. This century, since 2000, okay, not only is Syracuse a perfect 37-0 straight up when listed as a double-digit favorite, but they're 25-10-2 against the number. Ohio U has no chance here. Lay it with Cuse. By the way, if you like blowouts, be sure to check out my 4% best bet for Saturday at wagertalk.com. I'm now on a 20-8 college football run going back to last season. After my first play of 2024, the under in UNC Minnesota cashed by double digits. 9-2 with plays rated 4% or higher during that 28-20-8 stretch. Not to mention, I entered Friday having gone a perfect 5-0 in all sports the last three days. After you're done watching this video, head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to pick up that 4% best bet. Okay, now back to the Power 5. Sam Houston State plus 10 against Rice. These are two teams that I like heading into to 24. Uh, so expect a close one Saturday night in Houston, okay? These schools are separated by just 73 miles. It's their first ever meeting as FBS opponents. Sam Houston State, interesting team. Of course, they just moved up to the FBS level last season. Covered the spread each of their first two games despite scoring a total of three points in those games. So they've got a defense. From there, seven of the next ten games were decided by one possession. So it's a team that knows how to keep it close. They just had trouble finishing last year, but I don't care if they win outright against Rice. Just need them to stay within single digits, which they should do. Rice, they are not accustomed to being a double-digit favorite. Sam Houston State's offense should be a lot better this year thanks to an improved Line, this team got some respect in the market last season, even when they were 0-6 and 0-7 straight up. Sam Houston State went off as the betting favorite last season. So take the points here uh, in the battle of H-Town. One more for you, and it is another under-the-radar underdog I like this week. North Texas plus six against South Alabama. Like Sam Houston State, the Mean Green from Denton County have taken money all week long. You may even want to sprinkle a little bit on the money line here. Reason being, I just don't like the situation at South Alabama to start the season. Virtually all their skill position talent from last year is gone. So is the coach, Kane Womack. He took the D.C. job at Alabama. The Jaguars' new 
uh, quarterback, Gio Lopez. He did have a good bowl game. That was against an awful Eastern Michigan team, though, in the 68 Ventures Bowl. Who could forget that? In the spring game, though, Lopez reportedly went 0 for 13 passing. That seems pretty ominous. Uh, North Texas, they lost a lot, too, relative to last year, but I like the fit for their new quarterback, Chandler Morris, who comes over from TCU. It's going to be a close game. North Texas joins Sam Houston State as my favorite underdogs for week one. Not the bit sexiest games, but they're games that'll make you money. Let's now recap the Power Five, shall we? Number one, Cagliari Leche. Both teams to score yes in Serie A. Number two, Clemson. First half plus six and a half against Georgia. It's more of a marquee matchup for you. Number three, Syracuse. Lay it. No matter what the number is, as long as it doesn't get up to 21, uh, lay it against Ohio U. Number four, Sam Houston State plus 10 against Rice. Number five, North Texas plus six against South Alabama. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, go ahead, smash that like button. Always appreciate your support here on the Power Five. And how does a free week of winners sound? You can get a full week of my selections free of charge right now with the purchase of a two-week all-access pass. Buy those two weeks, we'll throw a third week of service in at no extra cost. That gives you not only every premium football release, but MLB and soccer as well. I already mentioned how hot I've been recently. Talked about the soccer record. Talked about the college football record, 20-8, and eight, going back to last season. Well, check this out as well. Go back to April. I'm on a 37-12 and 12 run with all plays on Saturdays. I think that bodes well for this college football season. Again, just go over to wt.buzz slash bp for all of my top plays this weekend. And you want to make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Not only do I do the Power Five, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager, me and Mark Zinno, every Monday through Friday. And that's going to do it for the Saturday edition of the Power Five. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, any questions, fire them off down below, whether it's about the games I talked about or another matchup uh, you want to know about. I'll be in the comments section responding. You can also find me on X, they used to call it Twitter, at BrianPower underscore wins. Until next time, uh, let's catch some tickets.